people in East Africa, students at Uganda Management and Technology University in Kampala are excited to participate in an apps competition. The talented app developers are devising homegrown solutions to problems in the East African nation. A viewer is Paul D. who recently visited the campus and tells us more. Uganda Technology and Management University, UTAM, is a private university fully accredited by Uganda's National Council for Higher Education to offer carefully designed and uniquely branded programs at both undergraduate and postgraduate levels. The Tech University was created less than two years ago, but it's already challenging other universities in the area of innovation. Professor Venansi Sabariamreba is the university's vice chancellor. We wanted a university that can affect the community around us. So what we've done is to ensure that our programs in a way integrated with the community. That's why our first year students have lots of innovation, even in first year. By the time they reach second year, they have a fear that they can actually have their own companies. And by the time they finish third year, either they can work for great companies or they can work for themselves. Until recently, Professor Venansi Sabariam Lewa was the vice chancellor of Makara University, Uganda's oldest institution of higher learning. Today, his university has some of the best professors in ICT in Uganda. To stay ahead of the competition, UTAM has introduced a mobile app contest that is open to all university students, and it's generating a lot of buzz on campus. The competition is geared towards giving talented young students the opportunity to showcase their innovations and provide solutions for some of Uganda's problems. Akim Ali Ojok is the University Guild president and an information and technology student. He's developing an app called Mobile Yaka that allows people to pay their electricity bill through their phones. Anybody who uses a phone, as long as you are in a place where you can use a phone, huh? you've got signals that can reach you. You can be able to communicate with your meter at home. These students have created some interesting applications that could change the way Ugandans interact with their smartphones and tablets. Kenneth Twesje is a second-year computer science student who is currently working on a social networking application called Kapiachi, or What's New. After seeing that problem, I went ahead and thought it would be of an importance if I would create an application that these people can always use or get all updates about all those workshops and conferences. Another IT student, Katumba Ivan Coretta, has developed a cutting-edge security application called a Secure Citizen. He says that he wants to live in a crime-free society. It's called Secure Citizen. That is the name of my application, okay? And it's an easy-to-use mobile-based security platform. John Nguwidi, dean at the School of Computing and Engineering Department, says the university is making a deliberate attempt to expose and encourage students to become critical thinkers. They are challenged to think outside of the box, identify problems in their communities, and develop their own solutions. Our students are always challenged with a lot of projects a lot of personal study, which is highly evaluated. In the process, they are challenged to learn more about what they've been taught. Education analysts say UTAM has the potential to train and produce some of the most highly sought-after students in the area of ICT, and that the institution will have a major impact on the continent. Well, Paul's next report will feature global publishers, Tanzania's leading gossip, entertainment, sports and popular culture newspapers.